Modeling Trigonometric Functions. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to write equation of a trigonometric function from the given graph. So we have a graph here where the x-axis is given in radians. We have pi by 2 as our division horizontally and vertically each division is one unit. Now we need to write equation for the given graph. You could write sine function or a cosine function for the same. So we will see how to develop the model for the given graph. So that's the exercise for us. Now one more thing which I need to discuss with you is that each division as I said horizontally is pi by 12. Now those of you who are not conversant with radians can actually convert this radian measurement into degrees pi is 180 degrees so you can write this as 180 degrees divided by 12 so when you divide 180 by 12 you will get 15 degrees right so so for you each division will be 15 degrees so you can also write this as 15 degrees and then find the equation of this graph in terms of sine and cosine okay so let's begin with the time period itself so let's find time period for the given graph. Time period can be calculated by seeing horizontal distance between two maximums or between two minimums. And of course it is twice the distance between maximum and minimum. Now in this case each division is pi by 12 so we can count the distance 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that means 8 times pi by 12. So that becomes the time period t for us. This can be simplified. We can divide both by 4 to get 2 pi by 3 as time period. So that is time period t for us. Now the value of k can be calculated from the time period. Now when I say k, let me really write down the general equation of uh, the trigonometric function. So we'll write general equation as y equals to a times cos of k x minus let's say phase shift p plus d the axis. In sine terms we'll write in terms of a times sine k x minus p plus d. Correct? So these are the equations which we will develop from the given graph. We have calculated that the time period is 2 pi by 3 which is the distance, horizontal distance between two maximums. Now from here we can find the value of k. It is number of cycles in 2 pi. So k can be written as 2 pi divided by t. So in this particular case since t is 2 pi by 3 we can write this as 2 pi divided by 2 pi divided by 3 and that gives us a value of 3. So k is 3 for us which could be written in both the equations. Let us now find what is a the amplitude and d the axis. To find amplitude and axis we need to look into maximum and minimum from the graph. So we can read these values. Maximum is right there 3. Minimum value is minus 1 correct now from these values a is difference of maximum minimum divide by 2 so a is equals to max minus minimum divide by 2 so here it will be 3 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 sorry 3 minus of minus 1 makes it plus so it becomes 2 for us sorry for that so 4 divided by 2 is 2 so maximum minus minimum which is 3 minus minus 1 I should have written here 3 minus minus 1 divided by 2 that minus minus becomes plus and so we get 2 right so we get the value of a and to find the value of d which is kind of average right so to find d we have to do maximum plus minimum divided by 2. 
Now in this case, maximum is 3 plus minimum of minus 1 divided by 2 gives you a value of 1. So what we get here is A as equal to 2 and D as equal to 1. Now what else we need to find? We need to find what P is, right? So we got A, K and D. Phase shift. Now phase shift is specific to the equation itself. If you want to write equation in terms of cosine function, in that case, you need to see the first maximum, right? In our case, first maximum is right there. Where does it start? Now, the starting point for the first maximum in this case is right there, right? So, it is 1, 2, 3 pi by 12. So, in this case, so for cosine, P is equals to 3 pi by 12. 12, which I could write as pi by 4. So that is for cosine function. So many units to the right, so it's a positive value. As far as the sine function is concerned, sine function starts from the axis going upwards. Now the axis for us is the d value, which is at 1. So let's draw the axis here. That is the axis for this particular graph. Now, this value going upwards marks the starting point for a sine function and this value is pi by 12 units to the right. Therefore, P for sine function will be pi by 12. You get the idea. So, that is the only difference between these two equations. Otherwise, these equations will be exactly same, right? So, now since we have all the values here, let me circle them for you. So we have k as 3, a as 2, d as 1, and p for cosine is pi by 4 to the right, for sine it is pi by 12. Substituting these values, we get our equation. So if you want to write in cosine function, in that case, a 3, right, sorry, a is 2. So we get 2 cos of within brackets k is 3 x minus p is pi by 4 bracket close plus d which is 1 for us plus 1 so we get cosine function for sine function we will write 2 sine k value say x minus phase shift is different for sine that is the phase shift pi by 12 plus 1. So that is how you can write sine function and cosine function for the given wave. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.